Hello, this is Usumachi speaking and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time episode 39. In our last episode, we still got deeper inside the water temple, but thanks to the excess of pausing and water leveling, this has been slow. <laughs> but now we are pretty close to a really fun battle, at least it is for me, where the enemy is none other than... Oh, now you'll see for yourself. <laughs> Oh, we got uh, two bastards here who want to kill me, and they died. This guy right here is ready for eating you as soon as you use your hook shot. He would, in this case, eat your tonic and your shield. You have to get him back quickly if you did. So let's see how it is. Huh? This looks weird here. In the N64 version, you can see your re reflection. When you pass through this little aisle, then your reflection disappears. When you turn around, you can see a shadow. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting our own shadow. How's that? So, in the first rounds, uh, he's gonna imitate you completely. So it's really hard to hit him without necessarily missing and of course if you use a, your thrust attack you'll just get on your sword yeah now I remember you can't target him this is my way of beating him uh, in the first rounds oh man okay so we're gonna do that like a couple of times we might get hit a little but we'll, we won't die so just gotta get close to him so he can get hurt. There we go. Let's get this guy too. Eventually when they start to get... Um, the more they come, then they start doing things on their own instead of imitating you. So I'm saving the best attack for those that attack you without necessarily imitating you. Okay. Now I'll do it. So we're gonna use Din's Fire. Every time they pop up, just use Din's Fire. I believe I have enough uh, magic power to get them all, the remaining that are gonna be appearing. Uh, I did that too late. As you can see, he's already attacking me without imitating me, so... Yeah. It's not impossible to beat when it's doing that, but it's very annoying. So I'd just rather get it out of the way like this. And of course, when you use Din's Fire, you won't get hurt when you activated it. That's why we also needed uh, that extra magic power from that fairy in the mountain. There we go, we got him. So yeah, if you play it on the N64 or the GameCube version, you will see your reflection. And it will disappear in the aisle. Right now, this... Uh, PC version doesn't seem to have it. So, we open this chest, and we're gonna get a very uh, wonderful item. Yes! The long shot! Now we're gonna be re reaching out uh, very high places. This is like the second item you need, a part of the scarecrow. So, a combination of the scarecrow and the long shot makes it a very uh, unique combo. And you can always rely on that. Just go back to the dungeon, well, the temples, and you will notice that there are places where the scarecrow is on top, and you can get really uh, far away spider tokens, etc., etc., etc. So let's see how we, how I did this. Uh, uh, there's a place where I can swim it out. I don't know if it's this one. Let me check. Um, well, ah, got too close. Haha. <laughs> well, let me just uh, get inside. You'll be warped back into the entrance. Let me try again. Yeah, first we're gonna be needing to use the iron boots. 
and then it's when we can swim it off. Oh, and uh, about the way I swim, when you push the B button in the case of uh, uh, Nintendo 64 version, uh, if you push it uh, fast, uh, quickly in the water, you will swim faster. That will help you fight off this, um, this currents if you get dragged by those uh, whirlpools. But you gotta be fast, because if you get too close, you'll get swallowed. There we go. And there's a spider over there, obviously. You can put the boots on and get it. Ugh. Okay. So let's see now. We roll over here. No, not yet. Well, let's get that heart. Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna be uh, swimming to the wall, swimming fast, and that whirlpool won't be able to take me. Hopefully. There we go. I think there's a fairy in here. Yep. Let's get those bottles filled up once again. I don't know if from this point on I'll be emptying them again. Not that I recall correctly, but I don't know. Maybe not. So those are gonna be keeper fairies. And we'll see if I can do a record and not have the need to use any of them till the game ends. We'll see. <laughs> So, let's see now. I have no idea how the countdown is going right now, but it's gotta be 20... 28 or something, I think. <laughs> oh my god. It's horrible! <laughs> so, let's uh, jump down. Same room as before, but... We came from the top side with a new key. Oh man, these guys are everywhere. Whoop! Good, they got hearts. Yay! So, what do we do now? Oh Jesus. I thinking uh, I'm thinking Twilight Princess is the, is the same thing you just uh, equip them in the C buttons although they have a different purpose there on that game that game is awesome by the way I'm not gonna say it's uh, it went it didn't I didn't like it I mean I love that game it's pretty cool finished it like three times already <laughs> I wish I had a PC version to make a let's play out of it. Oh boy. So up we go. Again, we gotta empty the whole place just to get to a single thing to then go back up and blah blah blah. Still I feel that it's not the time yet to use Faro's win. I don't know why, we'll see. <laughs> this is pure instant, guys. Pure memory. <laughs> but that's what happens when you beat a game a hundred million times. Back then I didn't have many games with me, so... And this game had a really great impact in my life, so yeah. Well... This is all the time I have. Hopefully on the next episode we'll get something done. This has been Usumachi speaking. Thank you for watching and see you next time.